Hello guys and welcome another Unity FPS tutorial. Uh, sorry for a late upload, but I barely have any time to um, for you to make a tutorial because I was on a vacation and I'm going on a, another vacation tomorrow, so I have barely any time to do a tutorial. So I won't be editing this tutorial because it takes a long time to render it. And uh, yeah, so I'll just quickly show you how to make a easy uh, pick up and drop system uh, pick up and drop weapon system so yeah as you can see I have a weapon but I can do much I can shoot with it but I can drop it and pick it up again and so I'll be showing today how to do that so start off by dragging your first person controller under the prefabs into the scene and when you have that uh, uh, choose your weapon and uh, drag it in front of your first person controller as so I don't know here in front of the as you can see it's in front of the first person controller and it has a nice view on the weapon if you go to game a uh, window and if you uh, and you want to make the revolver in the, uh, a child of the main camera under the first person controller drag it on the first person controller drag it on the first person controller and then under the main camera uh, this uh, has to be done under the hierarchy so uh, now let's duplicate the revolver we wanna duplicate it and drag it outside so it's the same size we wanna uh, go on the revolver if you made it in blender it will probably look like this so we wanna you can delete the camera and the lamp if you want but we want to select the solid objects here so cube and cylinders and add a component uh, box collider so uh, yeah we have that done and as you can see uh, every single object that this weapon is made of has a box collider on it uh, that will prevent from uh, the revolver falling to the ground because that will make it a rigid body so go to revolver add a rigid body that I think rigid body uh, we could add a mess filter. Okay, so now you wanna go to revolver and add a component box collider. Uh, why we are adding a box collider here is because we want the object when it will be dropped to be spawned as uh, the exact same location as your um, if you drag it out as your uh, current gun that you're having uh, uh, in front of your main camera. So you want your box collider and you want to target each trigger because we'll be using triggers to make your gun active. Sorry for the interruption, as I said, we have holiday preparations, so yeah, let's uh, continue. Uh, you want to make the size of the box collider smaller, so I'm going to put 0.2 on the X, Y and the Z, so just to get a uh, view how big is this so we wanna, I'll go with one one is enough big so and you wanna drag it uh, a bit in front of the gun uh, where your barrel is placed I probably so 0. Um, 0 and how is it 5 so uh, when you drop it uh, it won't be colliding with the first person controller right away so yeah it's trigger and that is what we want uh, and yeah now let's get to scripting uh, first uh, you want to make this revolver a prefab so you want to go to assets and create a new prefab create prefab and you want to name it whatever you want I'll go name it rev 2 I don't know something like this and uh, I'll just drag the revolver on the left too. So yeah, that's our prefab. That is what we'll drop. So now we wanna go to scripting. When I go to uh, first we'll go to we can to delete the revolver now. No, not yet actually. Uh, you wanna go to first person controller and you wanna uh, wanna go with the script I think it is yeah pick pick script and if we check the script right away just click it uh, when we'll enter a trigger uh, as you can see on trigger and the collider so the collider 
like collision or something uh, if uh, the trigger if the game object that has uh, the trigger on it will be tagged so for that uh, tagged pick uh, it will uh, set the our weapon uh, pick our the game object as you can see the variable here uh, it will set the pick game object to true so and then what okay wait for a sec that we don't need that because it doesn't do nothing we just wait for a sec here we're calling that on enter so we're calling it once i'll delete that, this line so you won't have it in the script just don't bother don't be bothered by that line okay and we we'll to drag this um thing on our first person controller over here so okay now we have to uh, and our pick will be of course our revolver over here under the main cam so when I drag the revolver under the pick so now we want to add a script on our revolver so on our revolver we want to have a drop script so let me just show you the script very basic script uh, variable drop and we have a variable gun so uh, drop is the item that will be instantiated that will be spawned at the exact same position as our gun so when you press the R button of course you want if you want to change it just try, type any button you want so it will instantiate or spawn the drop game object over here and it will call, on, call function drop so in function drop it will set active our gun it will set our gun unactive so it will look like we're dropping a weapon so when i drag on the revolve i roll this and okay again i'm very messy today so our drop is our revolver two or, or what is it yes it is and our gun is our revolver so okay we have that done now and wanna add a simple script on our revolver of course so i wanna add a component of course or just drop it uh, i named it cover it's it's a uh, we could do that in one script but i want to make this simple to you guys and make it in three scripts so you understand every single thing so when you enter the collider if the object will detect player it will destroy our prefect over here our game object so okay and uh, of course we want to add it back to our, um, to our Our, when I add a tag to our uh, prefect, let me go to and you want to add a tag, untag, add a tag, and element one pick. So I write this pick, you want to write pick of, with capital P and then pick just to recognize the object. And now you can drag that again to revolver 2. Uh, yeah, you have to tag it pick. You want to drag it to revolver two, and now you can delete it. Okay, so we have everything done. It should work now. R, you can drop it now, and you can pick it up. So yeah, it works. It works perfectly. It's a basic way, but it works perfectly. So that was. For today, guys, of course, I did put include the links to the scripts and in the description. And hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you in a week or so. Yeah.